because I think it's important to hear some of the issues from those that are that are our public servants um, and what those issues are potentially also what questions that you may have and also recommendations uh, as we move forward. Well yes Governor uh, Chief of State Guam Fire uh, I, I do have about 28 years actual service a little over 28 plus my accumulated sick leave takes me up beyond the 30. Mm -hmm. My only concern is uh, you know again in uh, we, we've heard about you know uh, in doing this with the early retirement, are we going to jeopardize the, uh, the <coughs> retirement itself in, in uh, that helping us in, in, in our latter years of, you know, drawing from the retirement? Is it going to jeopardize that? Mm -hmm. That's a big concern of ours. Mm -hmm. uh, on the side of the fire department, because again, I'm, I'm committed to the fire department. That's one of the reasons why I don't even think about mm -hmm. it is because through the years, you've said we, through attrition, mm -hmm. we've reduced the numbers. So we're, we're running skeleton crews out there. Something that was what I found quite interesting, in my last meeting of the Governor's Conference, I, I did make, make mention that we, uh, in the government of Guam, uh, uh, that contribution is in terms of a percentage of our personnel costs for government of Guam was at nearly 30 percent. And the governors, most of them, their, their models nearly just dropped. The, the most important thing to occur is it, to, to recognize is that if the general fund destabilizes, then everything else destabilizes. And, and uh, if you look at what's happened in the Northern Marianas, where, where again, the, the general fund has been a near collapse, they have not been able to pay the retirement fund. And right. of course, what happened with the retirement <coughs> fund? When bank, uh, is it? They filed for bankruptcy. Filed for bankruptcy. Yeah. 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 And we do not want to be in that position. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what would happen then if we start cutting, if we can't, if, if they don't, if there is a refusal to look at the retirement fund, mm -hmm. if there is a refusal to look at benefits, then it leads to layoffs. Yeah. And if you have layoffs, uh, that's a lot of people that won't be won't be contributing right. to the retirement fund. Right. As for the uh, the uh, personnel issues, even when it comes to early retirement, is there a way to do it in an extended period, some sort of transitionary period, where you know we can still make use uh, of the expertise yes. of those that will be retiring, uh, so that uh, uh, there is an adequate time for the, recru the re recruiting and, re and the training of new firemen coming. I'm Lieutenant Mark Torres from the Guam Police Department. I've been in for 23 years. With the retirement, the early retirement, I agree with it to some degree because I think there is some benefit, but I, I, I like the idea, sir, of you having that transition period where you don't just cut the bottom up, yeah. you know, and, and then, you know, we lose all these, uh, these retirees just like that. And that, that's what happened in 99, yes. And when that happened, we as PO3s, police officer threes, were forced to do or take on roles that were traditionally handled by lieutenants and above. Mm -hmm. So we were not ready for that. So yeah. the brain drain, we felt it incredibly. It, it, it hurt us because we were inexperienced. We didn't know how to make certain decisions. We didn't have the training. We didn't have the tenure. So that was always a challenge. And, and, and quite honestly, it made some of us look foolish. But we hung in there. And that's because we wanted to do what was right and that's to stick around and, and to commit to the oath we took. Oh yeah, well, uh, Sergeant Nogan from uh, Dead of Precept. Actually, 20, well, going on 25 years of government service, 24 with the Guam Police Department, and you know, I've, I've always told my wife, I got four more years. You know, until this <laughs> early retirement came on, I said I got four more years. I was counting it down, six, five, now I'm the four. Whenever you, there's, a, any kind of uh, adjustment in anything, it should be a phase. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't hurt the person in itself or it doesn't hurt the department. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's all I can offer as a suggestion. And then what, you know, the, the money's of savings and everything also is that, you know, you can get us cars, you know, and uh, or, but most likely we need personnel. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. definitely going to need it. And that's the way to offer this to the people, especially now, <clears throat> excuse me, for the people that have the old retirement plan, okay, uh, I, the longer I stay in, the more I make, mm -hmm. the more yeah. the government is going to have to fork yeah, out. Sure. You see, 
I'm trying to make the government try to save money from paying me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just an offer or a suggestion. I, I think that you know it could be considered. I know we have a, a long, a long journey ahead of us. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank you so much for your input, and you. But you have my my word, my assurance that as we traverse this course, uh, we will be open in ear. Uh, we will be listening uh, to to the issues that have been brought forward. Uh, by our by all government workers, by the people, the taxpayers, and we will do this with uh, with to, with as much uh, how would you say of an intention of of ensuring that there is the least pain possible, and I, I and I I want to, to find ways to ensure that we 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 look at all other options other than layoffs. As we as we try to to stabilize this government, so uh, again I, I want to thank you so much for for your, your your candor, and I look forward to your continued input uh, as we move along. And again, thank you so much for the service you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.